I had gotten a DUI when I was 60 and ended up at the Daytona Drive-In Church because I wanted to go back to God. My husband became an alcoholic when he had to retire, and that was hard to watch self-destruction. Um, so I am a woman in recovery, and uh, about 12 years ago, I went to treatment for my uh, alcoholism. Okay, I um, was an alcoholic, and I have been clean and sober for almost three years. September 19th will be my three-year anniversary, and have managed to stay well with that and still do meetings every day, so. What are the problems that you see in your community? Um, I live in an area where there are a lot of unhoused individuals and I see them, um, familiar faces, you know, wandering the streets uh, as well as transient people um, wandering the streets in that area. Um, I have witnessed three overdoses right outside of my own home. You know, I have met some people that are in recovery, and one of the guys is at my 7-Eleven right by my house. And I was wearing this t-shirt, if you can believe it, says end overdose. And he says, love your t-shirt, and we ended up becoming friends. And my thing to do when I was given back then was to give people a recovery Bible. So I took him one and he was so excited and I still see him every, you know, about three times a week and we still talk about his recovery and he's doing great. I see individuals, you know, sleeping during the day in hot, hot weather, uh, just assuming they don't have any other place to go. It's a big problem throughout the United States, more and more each day each day and at times I feel like society has put blinders on. How do you feel Renew Recovery Cafe can help solve those problems? I think it's going to give people a place to go. To, at least that's what I'm hoping for, where they can feel loved because I think problems with the recovery is these people don't have a place to go. But I think the encouragement and the openness we want to, you know, display for the people that they will feel safe coming here. Well, it was really important when we were kind of doing um, our community assessment and, you know, where is the need and where would the, the best place for us to be. Um, we chose this area because there does seem to be a lot of um, recovery houses, so people in recovery in the area, but there's also, again, a lot of people not in recovery, unhoused individuals. We want to bring uh, health and wellness agencies here to, you know, the cafe to talk to our members and, you know, tell them about services and supports that are available out there. It's going to be a membership type thing where they can know that they'll come in and everybody's going to know who they are and can't wait to see them come back. Uh, what do you personally have uh, gifts? What, what do you bring to the table? What do you have to offer for a new recovery cafe? My history with alcoholism, unfortunately, but I think that I can teach other people. To get away from that thinking is one thing I can't wait to talk to people about. My role here is I will be dealing with the food service you know, making sure there's ample food and... I like all the behind the scenes stuff, so I, I support the people that support the people. I generally do um, all that administrative stuff that people don't like to do, looking for uh, grants and contracts, uh, you know, um, setting up policies and procedures, working with data, those types of things um, that oftentimes we forget about that you need to have a healthy operating organization. Well, I'm more, I feel like more like being a dictionary where they need help with something that I search to find for what it is they need. 
and also to provide them a, a, a good meal. It's love and comfort, and everyone needs love. They really do. Why is it important for you uh, to serve at Renew Recovery Cafe? I'm sure their budget that they have to live on, on whatever means of help they get, they're going to be limited on the types of food they can afford to buy. I know. It's even hard on me, you know, when you go to the grocery store and last week this was such and such a price and this week it's 50 cents more, but it adds up. So, yep, and we, we want them to be able to get the necessary and possibly healthy foods they need. The health is important as well as just the food. I just saw so many people obviously suffering from substance use disorders, but I knew there was, there was a story behind the story that many people didn't get to see. So um, for me personally, I just felt like those people needed to be represented um, and they deserve supports and services. I think the Lord has sent me here. I really do. I still pray every day and say my prayers and I'm, I'm sure that God's got me in the right place. How do you prefer people connect with Renew Recovery Cafe? Come to the cafe. So a personal invitation to most of the people, you know, in this area. Well, right now um, we're reaching out to, like for me, I'm going to reach out to the drug court and the DUI court to tell them about it and have them come to be part of it when they want to start giving back. We have a hello at renewrecoverycafe.com email address that people can reach out to us at. And, and it takes, again, we need to build relationships. Just because I invite you to come over, you're, you, you, you might not come over until maybe you've seen me a couple times and, and say, hey, you know, they really do have good intentions. And they need to feel safe. And this will be a safe environment. One thing I learned is that I was not giving back and I, that is, it makes you so much more happy when you're giving somebody something, part of yourself and something they need because that's all about God and love. Hmm?